Hi, my name is Carolyn and I'm a naturopath in Thornbury and my website is carolynhall.com.au and today I want to talk to you about Candida. Candida is a fungal overgrowth that usually begins in the bowel when the good bugs and the bad bug ratio actually gets out of whack and the bad guys um, get the chance to proliferate. When this happens, it creates symptoms such as bloating, um, it can make us feel really tired and fatigued, it can give us brain fog, uh, and it can also um, lead to thrush as well and vaginitis. So candida is um, triggered by quite a few different things, and sometimes it can be a combination of more than one of these things. Um, the main one that everybody is quite aware of is the use of antibiotics and if you've had to take one or two courses of antibiotics and you're prone to um, candida that can be a real problem. Um, also when your diet is really high in sugar, candida um, can take over. Uh, if your diet is high in caffeine and alcohol because those two things really sort of wipe out the good bugs um, that keep the bad bugs in check so that keep candida in check. Um, also stress can really influence the good bug bad bug um, ratio in the gut as well allowing candida to flourish. So there's a few things that you can do to really actively get on top of candida especially if it's a, re a recurring problem as well. So there's some really great um, antifungal herbs which you can use um, one of them is pomegranate husks, actually, from the pomegranate fruit. And you can take that in liquid form. You can also take it in tablet form. Um, the other one is oregano, which is a beautiful herb, which is also antimicrobial and um, helps to fight candida. And these two herbs are great because they don't um, negatively affect our good gut flora in our gut. So that's really important. The other one that I really... Um, like to suggest is actually Ch Chinese wormwood which um, is a artemisia and that's really anti-fungal um, as well. It's really important when you're taking herbs that um, you just double check if you're pregnant or if you're breastfeeding if those herbs are suitable so um, always always double check that or if you're on any medications. The other thing that's really important is to promote the immune system in the gut and really support good gut flora. So by taking things like probiotics, and there's a few probiotics which are really specific against candida. So they're the ones to go for and they're the ones to look out for. So it's someone explained to me quite recently that um, there's lots of different types of um, probiotics and they have different strains, which we know. Um, but it's actually really important that you use the right one for whatever you're treating. So, and it's sort of, it's like, um, I like this little analogy. It's like looking at all the different types of dogs you can get. And if you compare a Chihuahua with an Alsatian, they're two very different dogs and they behave in very different ways and they have different needs. And so pro different probiotics are actually that varied as well. So it's really important that you choose the right one for whatever is going on with you. So the ones that are specific um, for antifungals that really um, have strong activity against candida are Lactobacillus, Lactobacillus plantarum is a good one. Um, also, there's actually a good combination, uh, one that you can buy that's made by Blackmores and it's called Women's Biobalance. And there's two strains in there of probiotics which um, really help to correct the good bug, bad bug um, ratio within the vagina so excellent for thrush and candida as well so that's a good one to look out for. The other one is this really cool yeast which is called Saccharomyces baladi or SB for short and I know that sounds funny because it's a yeast but it's actually what happens is the candida um, candida actually gets forced out of home when you take SB because it comes, a lot, comes into the gut and it sits in the receptor sites and um, uh, where the candida sits and the candida moves out, which is what we want. So probiotics are another really important thing. Also, if you're suffering, suffering, suffering from thrush, um, what you can do topically, it's really important that you don't use any soap or body wash to wash. 
It's also really important that you wear really comfortable cotton underwear. It's also really important not to wear synthetic nylon stockings or really tight pants because you want to really let that area breathe and get better. Um, what you can do topically too is you can actually make an infusion with an organic green tea and use that as a wash. Green tea um, contains constituents which are anti-candida. So you can do that and you do it quite consistently because you want to get on top of things. You can also apply an organic natural yogurt and put extra probiotic in it. And the one that works really well topically is actually Lactobacillus rhamnosus. So that's that's the particular strain to go for if you want to do um, if you want to use something topically as well. So um, they're my three things to do for Candida. Um, You've really got to get on top of it and be quite consistent with it because it can be a pretty annoying, um, recurring problem. Yeah, so um, thanks for listening to my video. I actually did this as a bit of a um, request from someone. So um, if there's something that you would like to hear a little video about um, over the next few weeks, you can always let me know. Send me a message. And um, next week's video is actually going to be about um, using flower essences over the Christmas holiday break uh, to help us deal with the emotional things that might come up with Christmas. So often with Christmas we're, um, we're with our family, we're with people we don't see very often um, and things can sometimes get a little bit um, emotional, our buttons get pressed. Um, Christmas isn't always the easiest time for some people so there's beautiful flower essences um, that exist to help you process these emotions and um, the reason why I love flower essences so much is because they actually allow you to blossom and be the best person that you can be. So I'd love to share some more info about that with you then. So thanks for watching my video and I'll speak to you then. Bye.